that's how he's all getting on today. So another entry for the hobby journal. I think this is number four he recorded on this. Um, I want to show what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, then I'll be showing what I will be working on and other stuff I have planned over here. So of course I will be starting off with the... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember the name for a second. The Skaven Blight Scramblers, the Blood Bowl team. Um, the last kind of couple of videos I've been mostly working on these but these are like 90% done the only thing that really has to be left to finish is the ball itself in this guy's tail well there's two of these to be done but the rest of the team is pretty much finished I have been working on the bases but I'm pretty happy how these turned out the bases I have, and I just kind of put a green base car on it with a bit of sand, and then I kind of dry brush a bit of brown over. I'm going to be putting grass over it, adding a few bits of wash, and hopefully that'll just finish them off. And then I kind of realised that once you fit these into the slotters, that the little slotter piece you have to finish as well. So I can get this guy in, I'll show you. Now you see that kind of grey piece underneath him. I forgot that I'm going to have to paint over that as well to get it finished. But they're nearly done. I'm really happy how they turned out. The only thing I've left to finish after them is like the little pieces you get with it. Like the turn markers and everything. But that'll be pretty quick. I'll get you that no problem. But I'm happy how they turned out. I'm happy to get them finished. I can move on to something else. Which brings me over to these. Um, I will be wa I'm wanting to work on... The whole, all my Blood Bowl stuff now. I want to get the... I have a human team and the Orc team left. So, I've been using the new base spray. Uh, the Halford's Grey Primer, which is turning out fantastic. Um, but, you know, I really love the human teams. Once you kind of get the colour, the base colour or the spray over the blue and the green that they come in. You know, the other way the, the plastic comes pre-coloured. It's not grey with these ones. It's kind of really nice to look at. There's so much details in these Blood Bowl figures. It's unreal. And um, So I'm going to be moving on to them next. I just have these four guys here. Just kind of a starting point. And I started some of the skin on this uh, art guy. Let's see if we can get a better look at him. Yeah, you can see some. Of, there's not very much flesh on him, to be honest. But the paint goes over this... Uh, Halford's primer so easy this it's a powerful spray you have to like spray it from a bit back but it's really good it, uh, it's not thick you can get really good coverage with it so stay tuned I'll be getting some more of the blood ball teams done and then finally over here I'm sure as you all know that Nick is doing his terrain square corner competition this year so I'm a bit late getting this started I didn't have a lot of time lately so I'm hoping I can get this finished. I have a pretty big idea to try and get this done. Um, so basically what I'm wanting to do, I was thinking about cutting this in half first. I'm wanting this to be two layers. So I was thinking of if I had some, like a unit trying to come in, this is all going to be built up at a wall along the side here, like a cliff edge, or all rock, rock edge. Um, and then this old, or not this old, but this gate, I remember I did a video on this a long time ago and it was like a like a rune gate but I got it off of eBay. If I put that in the corner there like that, build up the walls beside it. I want it to be an entrance to like an old mountainside cavern or mountainside cave, like an old dwarf cave or something. I'll put all like dwarf runes on it and I put all the guys along here and as if that's gonna be the entrance. And then that's gonna be like up this high. And then that's gonna be on top of another square here that's probably gonna be about let me see what's this ruler let me see about five inches high there's going to be another piece underneath it with another hole so it looks like they're gone through the entrance and then underneath it that's the cave that they're going into and there's going to be all clan molder scaven guys in there and um, i hope it kind of makes sense i i should have got another one of these i didn't get it but basically let me see if i move the camera back it's kind of going to be like that there's going to be something here underneath it and then there's going to be another thing kind of diorama going up on top so i've plenty of work to do the main thing i try to do when i get these when i when i try working on terrain squares is i don't want to have a lot of models to paint for it i want them to 
because I want to try and focus more on the terrain piece itself. Like I paint this, um, I have to get the foam. I have the foam down here. If you guys have ever used uh, expanding foam, which I did, you know, you have to use the whole can in one go. So I got this big, big chunk of it here, all spread out and ready to be used, to be cut up. So that's the plan for that one. I don't know how much, I don't know how much of it I will accomplish, but I'm hoping to get it done as quick as I can because I'm, I'm kind of stuck for time now. So I think I will be cutting it in half so you can get a better look at the layer underneath. So this will be all like grass and rock. So it'll be like as if it's on like the, like this will be the normal ground. I'm trying to think of the word. Not outdoor. Ground level. This will be the ground level. They have a cave entrance here like that. And then once you look underneath it, we'll have some of the other guys that have already gone in there coming out through like an entrance way at the side here and that's where clan molder are so you'll have another corner in here um and that's kind of the whole the setting the stage for the diorama so i'm hoping it'll work it's going to be funny trying to cut through this foam i've never really used it before it's pretty easy to cut through i know that it's hopefully i can shape it up right and i can get it to look decent i can get hopefully my idea can come to fruition i can really work on it maybe next weekend i'm hoping i still have quite a bit of college work to do but um so yeah these will be finished pretty soon so to finish them bases and the little slot pieces i really can't wait to get painted on these i know i've done the skin on this but that's only a little small tiny bit but that gray primer is so nice the paint goes over it's so smooth um instead of using the white primer that i used the gw one uh, this one looks so much nicer. Well, for now, anyway, it's working. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, I'll all go to plan. Um, like I'll work on these on the side. These probably won't get worked on until next month, I think. Or maybe just a little bit when I'm waiting for stuff to dry or something. And I'll be working on this one mostly for from now on. So, um, you know, I'll be having pictures updated on my blog site and everything. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit the like button and comment below and subscribe if you haven't. Um, I can't believe it took me so long. I couldn't think of an idea for this terrain square this year. Everything I kind of talk, thought about, it was just, it was born. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to wow anyone. And then I thought of this and I said, if I can get this, if I can pull this off, it's going to be pretty cool. So hopefully I can. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like this. Make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all again next time.